All right, hello there. Welcome to another We Been Different video. Today's video, we are going to be doing a Naruto Jutsu tier list maker. And uh, to be honest, how I'm doing it, um, you can see the title of the thumbnail. It says best. And yes, it is the best in terms of like the coolest. Like, oh, for example, fire style jutsu might not be the strongest in in the whole show but it's like one of the best and that it's like iconic or super cool unique there's tons of like great scales that i will be applying to why i say um this jutsu's at this tier at that tier um if you go down here you can see that it says god level kage level jonin level chunin level and trash um i'm gonna use those because they're here already but just because Chidori, for example, is on like God level, um, it doesn't mean that it's literally like the most destructive jutsu in the freaking world. Like, no, it's just super cool. So I want to clear that up. Hopefully nobody skipped this intro or this is not going to make sense, but I'll reiterate that throughout the video that it's like the coolest. And in terms of being the best, that's what I mean. Uh, anyway, uh, without further ado, let's roll. Uh, I don't even know what the jutsu is called to be honest, but I know it's um, Shino's bug jutsu. I think it's very unique. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna have it as the rest of the jutsus come out, but for now, I'm gonna leave it there. I, again, that is not finalized. It's just like, I'm very uncertain of where it'll play out. Fire style jutsu is iconic. Um, that is easily Kage level. Uh, I remember when uh, Sasuke first did it, it was just like, oh my God, this guy can, you know do fire and then you know they expanded it from not even just fire style fire ball jutsu but fire style phoenix flower jutsu i think that's i think that's what he says um fire style um what is the other one fire style yeah what is it called i use it in um naruto ultimate ninja storm 3 i want to say it's the one that comes around in like a circle let me see if you know what let me see if i can look it up all fire style jutsu <laughs> is it burning ash um let's see if i can get it in images um, 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 um. it might be obitos oh no no, no 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 it wasn't even a ball oh, yeah it was the dragon it was sasuke um you can use it when you pick his regular form but yeah that fire style oh man it's so sick uh i, I want to say it's fire style dragon jutsu or something like that but it's this image right here um sasuke is when he shoots like that dragon he thought he was really cool especially in in, in uh the wii there was a game um where his finisher was a fire style jutsu when you can jump up in the air and use it or was that Sasuke? I think that was Itachi. And then you could also use it on the ground. Um, Obito is just cool because those are the circles. Madara is just like this big destructive one. Uh, Sarada is just pretty plain, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, there's more than just one kind. And oh, yep. Fire style, great dragon flame jutsu. That's what I was talking about. That one's so freaking cool. Um, so yeah, fire style, Kage level. Um, this is the hit and miss jutsu or yeah i think that's what it is oh it's, it's a cool jutsu i'm not gonna say it's tuning level again let me reiterate it's not about power it's more so about how badass it is like damn that's really cool um i like it a lot but it's not one that nearly competes with the fire style jutsu and i think i definitely think it's better than chino's because chino's is relatively plain um naruto's wrestling on it, it's just uh, let me look throughout this list to see if there's other wrestling guns or if it's wrestling on as a whole. No, because there's Ross and Shuriken right here. Um, so I'm guessing it's just the wrestling gun and not other forms of it. Because again, the Ross and Shuriken is right here. Um, okay, so we're just talking about the wrestling gun. It's still Kage level. Very iconic. Honestly, some people would put it at God level. I'm not for the for the purpose of. If it included all the forms of the Rasengan that he uses, like the tailed, the tailed beast um, Rasengan, 
and then also uh rasen shuriken and also when he throws it that would be god level right but if it's just the rasengan by itself um as cool as it is i definitely think it's kage level one of the best of the best stuff for sure but not the cream de la creme if if i may um here we got the uh reanimation jutsu i want to i want to say that's what it's called that's really cool and it created um obviously a lot of amazing moments i think the moments were better than the jutsu itself but it's what it's the jutsu that got it there seeing itachi again seeing uh Sasori again seeing uh for some people deidara again uh it's just a lot awesome especially that moment with shikamaru that was like one of the again it's just like that jutsu had the most like impact in terms of emotion and it's like it's pretty it's pretty crazy it's pretty cool um oh and it even brought us no that wasn't what brought the kages back was it yeah it was because they got reanimated but through orochimaru's i want to say reanimation jutsu or something along the lines of that um it's been a long time since i've seen the show um we got the puppet jutsu um Kankuro's, it's honestly pretty bare bones um people would disagree with me i understand that it's an opinion tier list it's just not it's never been cool and anytime i play video games and i'm playing as kankuro i'm just not i'm not all that engaged it's, it's honestly obnoxious playing it in video games but other than that it's, it's whatever um i think we have the the gara san jutsu it's um sand burial i want to call it um another cool jutsu really awesome and that he just puts them in this ball of sand and just absolutely crushes them super cool but again no it's not fire style cool it's not rasengan cool no shot um enos is cool but i feel like it's not utilized enough uh, i want to say it's it's like the highest of tuning level because i don't think it's hit and miss cool and that dude her body is rendered useless and then I don't know. I feel like there's not enough moments to where the jutsu itself has like saved the day. Like it's usually the jutsu with something else. Um, so yeah, that's kind of that. And you might argue, oh, fire style has never saved the day. But dude, the amount of people that use it and how how they make it unique and make it their own and the different types of variations to it is just so iconic, dude. It's it's amazing. Um, Shining on. Now I don't know if they mean like. Genjutsu shutting on or shutting on as a whole, but if they're just saying shutting on as a whole, um, god level, it's it's what made me fall in love, I think, with the show in, in uh, in general. It's like someone having obviously Sasuke having red eyes and then being able to see other people's, uh, I guess he can react better to what other people are doing before they can even do it and he can see it coming. It's basically like, uh, uh, what is the term I'm looking for? It's like a sixth sense almost. That's really what it is actually. Um, and then obviously over time it develops into what we know as the manga kill shutting on. And then uh, when you get to this whole next level, of, I think it's taking your brother's eye or your bet or you have to something uh, where it's an infinite shutting on where you can't go blind. That's a whole nother level of shutting on as well. So yeah, super awesome. And I think this is the water style. It's like a barrier jutsu. It's whatever. It's cool in that it can restrain literally tons of people, but it's 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 plain in that I guess it's not action packed or iconic in any way. Uh, this is the water drag water style water dragon jutsu. Another really cool one. Um, I'm not as fond of it as I am with the other ones, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, cool concept, but I just it just never landed for me all too much. Amaterasu is just, it's just, it, it it's it's just insane. Like I'm thinking about putting this in S tier because it's a it's a fire that never never stops burning unless the whoever uses it chooses to let it burn out. Like it's just it's madness it's insane and when you get the manga kill that's what you get with it like or not necessarily that's what you get with it but you can learn it um it's like i said it's just so cool i don't think 
it honestly might be deserving of god level because that's just, yeah you know what it's just too cool dude like i i the concept behind it is like fire style but on crack it's like fire style but on roids it just does not stop burning um chidori is very iconic very 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 iconic it can't be above shiny uh rasengan because they're like in my opinion these go hand in hand like rasengan and chidori for sure go hand in hand um because obviously kakashi taught uh sasuke this um well kakashi's was a lightning blade i don't really think there's a difference honestly but Sasuke's is Chidori, and then Naruto got it from Jiraiya, and Jiraiya got it from the fourth Hokage. So it's like two jutsus with, you know, dope um, origins, and then you put it on the rivals, and they use it against each other, and then even as they move forward with their strength and their power and the development of different kinds of jutsus, they also develop these jutsus into stronger things. So it's it's awesome i absolutely love it i don't think you can rank one higher than the other i mean that's an opinion i think they definitely go hand in hand um this would be itachi's um genjutsu uh i don't is it sukiyomi i want to say it's, it's 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 sukiyomi right um regardless badass itachi is one of the best characters of any anime of all time period um just awesome just pure awesome power this is keating um be gone with the thunderclap oh, that was so sick <laughs> yeah that's good oh my god dude there's so much naruto is so awesome in that it has so many cool jutsus like they are really good at being creative and coming up with new things and the only reason why um i want to say i'm pretty sure it's called keating uh but the only reason why it's not higher is because i don't think it's used as nearly a, enough for it to be to be any higher but it was just ultimate badassery one of the one of my favorite moments in naruto was, was that fight um it's just amazing my guy uh opening all gates opening the eight gates is that what it is um regardless kage level honestly some people are gonna put that at god level and there's nothing wrong with that it's it's just so awesome like it's really just amazing and i i adore it i really do guy is an amazing really written character and honestly i'm kind of just gushing about this whole series but so, it's because we've gotten the best jutsus there's gonna be jutsus that are worse but yeah that's it's amazing Renegon. Don't care what anyone says. It's it's also god tier. Um, the coolest of the coolest of jutsus. When it was first introduced uh, with Nagato, and then obviously later on Sasuke getting it, and it was just like Naruto got the the Sage of Six Path power, and Sasuke got the Renegon. It was <sighs> so awesome absolutely awesome i i i can't dude like so many cool jutsus it's it's insane so many cool powers it's awesome uh sage mode okay i feel like when it was first introduced it was god level because obviously he used it to beat nagato and that was an amazing fight an amazing arc period absolutely best of the best kind of stuff that you look for in any any anime um i think i have to leave it at god level because of that arc alone and just how strong it was and it's when he did the when i think he did the was it dual ross no he threw his ross and shuriken that's when he introduced the throw i believe um <sighs> sage mode so cool <laughs> um Looking back at it, I I just think I have to put it at God level. Like how how can you not? The impact that it brought, it's just, just amazing, just flat out amazing. He got he learned it from the frogs, and uh, you know, that was I believe because of Jiraiya that he went there, or something along the lines of that. Um, just amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the tailed beast bomb. 
specifically um, the nine tails. If it's just the tailed beast bomb, it's definitely a Kage level. Um, not God level because um, this isn't like the complete mode. This is more just the berserk mode when he's not in control. Super cool, but dude, there's so many, so many cool ones. Um, this one was he made. What, how much did, of himself did he make? Six himself? Was it or was it five himself? I don't remember. Um, it was too short lived to be like Kagi or God level, but for sure it's high Jonin level. Honestly, I don't even remember the name of the Jutsu, but I know in Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm three, um, if you do your ultimate awakening he'll use that jutsu and there's just so many of him and it's super badass and uh, again if it was longer lived um it would go higher but i think i'm gonna leave it at <sighs> no it's dude it's gotta go at kage level honestly just how not even just how strong it was but how cool it was it was insane it, honestly that naruto has, has some amazing moments one of the this one is is this the yellow flash? Because if so, I don't care what anyone says to you, that's god level. I'm pretty sure this is the yellow flash. Um, amazing. If, if, if I'm wrong, if, if I'm wrong, it is it? No, I don't think it is the, is it the yellow flash. It's because when he throws the kunai and he transports to it. I'm pretty sure that's the yellow flash. Uh, I might have to see if I can look this up. Okay, so I can't seem to pull up the name of it through this website um, I'm gonna assume that it's part of the yellow flash if I am wrong please correct me because that's a big deal um, but I remember him using this in his tailed beast mode and where he throws the kunai and he uses it to teleport there I remember him using it against the fight against um, Obito um, when they first met and he was fighting him as the masked man uh again i'm remembering this as the yellow flash if i'm wrong please correct me but if it is the yellow flash which i think it is god level no doubt minato is just he introduced something that i think really changed the game in speed like seriously it was just so so sick um this one was the teleportation jutsu uh, it threw a lot of people off early on. It's not God level, but dude, it is it, him being able to just dip out into his own dimension or you couldn't touch him. Like it's definitely, it's definitely cocky level. Dude, that thing was, that thing was crazy. Um, here. Oh, this was from the third Hokage, right? Where he gives up his life. So the person can use a jutsu. Yeah, it's it that's Kage. There's so many Kage level jutsus, and I and I understand that it might be like, oh, dude, you're just putting everything in Kage, but like, dude, this series is insane, man. Um, what is this jutsu? Yo, I need to, I need to, I'm gonna zoom in hard on this one. Hard. Hold up, hold up. What is that? That's the shining gun. But. But what jutsu? Okay, we're back. It's the Izanami. Um, it's the jutsu that he used against Kabuto to put him in that infinite time loop. No, it's not trash. Chill out. Um, yeah, it's another Kage level, and it's like way up here, dude. Like way up here. Uh, I'm stuck up upon grading these out. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I guess I haven't bothered organizing Kage, uh, the Kage tier. I'll, I'll do that at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, Izanami, it's when he put, uh, Itachi put, uh, Kabuto in the infinite loop of basically reliving, uh, certain events until he accepts his fate, um, and basically becomes a changed man. Uh, it was just, again, it, it's like, I'm grading the moment as it's like hard to avoid the moment because that's how it was used and how it was used was just oh, Itachi is so cool man god dang it it makes me want to rewatch the series like seriously it it really does like it's it's insane um this is what is this jeez dude pretty sure this was in the Grand Ninja War it was that big uh the ten tails thing um 
yeah, obviously it's impressive. Uh, yeah. Um, Ross and Shuriken, very iconic. Um, I don't see the throwing of the Ross and Shuriken. So I'm going to have to assume, in all honesty, that it includes the throw. And that it also includes when he uses it with the tailed beast form. So if that's the case, it's got it's got to be God level, right? Because if it was just the jutsu that he used against, uh, what, what was the, the the dude, the Akatsuki dude that was like, let's make some money or something or something like that. Basically, if it was just that, it, if it was just that, it would be Kage level. But if it is what I think it is, um, and that it includes all throughout the rest of the series and again the throw and then when he has two of them and then um when he has the bunch of little ones that he can throw uh, again all of that that's gotta be that's gotta be god level right right because dude there's like he uses it so many times that's his go-to one of his strongest moves um he does it when he's a nine-tailed fox into that huge huge form of it like if we're talking all of that it's god level if it was just um what it shows in the picture I would I would say Kage, but I'm assuming it's all of that. So if that's the case, it's got to be God level because, it, dude, it's just like his. It, it's such a mainstay move. Um, this is the clone by one of the old Kages. It's cool, I guess. Uh, nothing crazy. Um, Deidara's explosion, uh, also cool, but I don't think it's worth dying for. So I mean, it's epic in the sense that yeah. It's about to go down. You know, things are going to go crazy, but you're dying. I guess the same could go for uh, this one. So, you know what? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll, it's got to go Kage level then. Um, this one, I'm I'm uncertain of what the Jutsu is called. Uh, I know that I, I'm pretty sure it could be one of two things. It could be uh, Shisui's genjutsu or it could be him putting uh his eye into a crow or something like that or i i should i should i should probably look this up i'll be mm. back okay so i'm back i couldn't find what the jutsu name was or what exactly it's referring to i'm pretty sure it's the eye that he gave to itachi and itachi gave to naruto i don't remember the use of it so It'd be so improper of me to pr to really properly rank this. Um, I just don't have the answer for it. So what I'm asking is that anyone who's watching this video, if you have the time to explain that in the comments below, um, I'd appreciate that. If not, I'm sure my brother will get back to me or someone will and say, hey, that's what that Jutsu was. And I'll be like, of course it was. How did I forget that? Um, I'm Again, I'm pretty sure those are the events that transpired. Shisui gave it to Itachi before he died. Itachi gave it to Naruto. And Naruto used it... I don't remember when, to be honest with you. It would all, it's just been so long since I've seen the series. So, because of that... Um, by the way, I don't think there's any trash jutsu. So, we're just going to put a question mark because it's undetermined. And here, I can't... I don't... What is that? What is, what is this? What is this supposed to mean? I'm going to zoom in hard on that image because what the freak? Is that supposed to be Sakura? But what is she doing? Um. <laughs> that image is botched. Okay, so because that image is botched, I don't want to assume the Jutsu. Uh, and we'll just leave that there. Sexy Jutsu is very basic. It's It's got its comedic relief. I was never like super... I never found it too funny, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's it's not the worst of Jutsus. I, honestly, it's, it's just... It's just whatever. And then now... Okay. Um, I believe... What is that? Dude, <laughs> we're getting to the part where I'm like, what the freak are, what, what is that? 
Is that um uh palm rotation? Byakugan when he does the rotation? I I don't know. I don't know. So because of that, uh, you guys know what I'm going to do. Uh, but also, if you guys know the answer to what this is, comments below, please. I would appreciate um, for any of you more diehard, because I'm a huge Naruto fan. But as you can see, I don't, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, this is the hidden mirror jutsu. Super sick, dude. Like, it's honestly like... I, People wouldn't put this up high, but watching Naruto for the first time and then, you know, seeing things go and go and go. This was one of the first Jutsus that really captivated me. And I was just like, dude, they're really stuck in there. Like they're actually stuck in there. And she was just going from like reflection to reflection. It felt like, and she was throwing a bunch of glass, like I like ice, I should say, but it was, it was pretty cool. Um, I am going to put it the same level as the Hidden Mist. I, I don't want to put it at... I'm thinking about it more and I don't want to put it at Kage because there's a lot of Kage stuff and all this stuff is already badass. Um, this is Hinata's Byakugan. Never a big fan of Hinata. Um, hot take, I guess it's going to be only Jonin level. So some people might really be annoyed without that. It's an opinion. I've just never been a fan of those Jutsus, I guess. Um, this is the Hidden Lotus. Cool at the time. Uh, it's aged out hard though. Very, very hard it's aged out. Um, yeah. Uh, this is the Shadow... Uh, what is it? It's Shikamaru Jutsu. What is it called again? It's, um... It's Shadow something... <laughs> What is it called? Basically, he puts the shot on the ground and he holds them all still and they can't move. It's a cool jutsu, but it's not like by any means amazing. It's it's definitely, I would say, Jonin. Uh, she's never had any real cool jutsu, in my opinion. Uh, Tamari, I'm, I'm not super high on this. I, I'll rank these out at the end of the video, by the way. So don't, don't be like, oh my God, how's, how was that higher than that? Shadow Clone Jutsu is iconic, dude. It's it's seriously iconic. It's got to be God level, right? Because it's like one of the first Jutsus we were introduced to. And it's been a mainstay from the very beginning. Even till now. Um, Baruto uses it and other people have used it. Uh, but Naruto uses it the best. And he has made, I think, what, 1,000 clones? something like that and he did it in the, in the great ninja war like especially when they're all in tail beast form or it's just <laughs> shadow clone is without question like god level right i just don't think you can really dispute that um opinion though uh this dude whatever uh powerful 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 jutsu just not i guess not all that appealing for me um choji's uh what is it <laughs> names dude it's killing me uh it's pretty it's really basic actually it's the bolt hidden bolt not hidden boulder uh something boulder jutsu it's, it's something that has to do with the boulder I, i'm really forgetting that name but yeah um this would be the infinite Tsukuyomi, i believe if that's the case it's got to be i wouldn't say it's like obviously powerful and I'm not talking we're not talking about power here but just coolness like it's cool but I don't think it I don't think it warrants god level um here we got uh what is who is that's one of the right kages he's he's uh one of the right kages and it's like his lightning move it's it's honestly whatever um some people might be a fan of it maybe it's because i'm not a fan of him that it's whatever to me i guess uh this is actually really sick i was a huge fan of when he brought out that many puppets um i don't really think it's right there with uh Deidara, 
but it, it's dude it's just so cool like he had so many puppets all just coming at him just in bunches that was it was pretty that was pretty it's pretty wild uh what is, what what is this what the what the freak is that sorry i'm zooming in hard here what is this if anyone knows what this is please put it in the comments below um i it would be very much appreciated i'm i don't know <laughs> what is that okay this is the the kiba's jutsu it's the dog one what is it called it's um tail no it's a uh, beast dog what is it called uh fang something fang fang i forgot what it's called i'm so bad with names dude okay well it's uh kiba's jutsu that he has this dog it's like fang something beast fang i'm forgetting the freaking names um yeah it's 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 whatever though okay this is actually i've never been a fan of like the whole byakuga byakugan thing and the whole you know the Hyuga clan but this is one of the coolest jutsus of that clan <laughs> so sick. eight palms 16 palms 32 palms 64 palms this is just so sick dude yeah, yeah. maybe 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 people don't agree with me but it's so cool um substance substitution juice is basic uh very effective but basic right um so i'm gonna leave it at chain and then summoning jutsu depends on who's using it because some summoning suck but i mean by default it has to be kage um so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you guys right now the whole list um i'm zooming out so that you guys can see everything right i'm gonna make this a, a two-part video i'm gonna release part one this week um, I don't know when this week, but this week. And if you guys like the video, if you guys, if there's views on it, I'll release part two organizing it. But also if there's comments, um, that explain what these four juices are, I'll get into that. And even if there's not comments, um, I'll ask around, you know, I know some people who know a thing or two about Naruto. I'm a huge Naruto fan. So I'll ask around, see what these are. If there's no comments. But yeah, this will be part one. I hope that, you know, this video gets at least like 15, 20 views. To, so I know that, hey, I I need to drop part two and organize this. Because all this right now is unorganized. I'm going to be very blunt. I, I don't want to make this video an hour long or however long I've been recording already. I think I've been recording for like 40 minutes, to be honest with you. Um, correction, I've been recording for 37 minutes. I can see it on my camera. But I don't want this video to be much longer than it already would be because it would be very long if I uh, organize it. So, yeah, part one complete. If y'all want part two, just watch the video, you know, and I'll know. And I will know. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. As you can see, Naruto is super dope. A lot of cool jutsus. And, uh, yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And hopefully I do get to organize it. And hopefully there is interest. But anyway, this has always been different. Oh, we've been different and we out.